Alright, so today we will start the entertainment video. <laughs> okay, Stephanie, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So, Stephanie is wild. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if she's. Um, when is the perfect timing to surrender your peanut? <laughs> Actually, for me, for me, I guess there's no certain time for that. As long as, as long as the red, I mean, as long as the girl is ready, as long as she's comfortable doing it, regardless of you know her age. But just make sure, okay, that you are 18 years and above. Yeah. So, yeah. what made you? Think to I what made you realize to ins to surrender your peanut before because since that was your first time and it's scary it's like nervousness and scary for you what made you think about that like you're out of control or why no it's not out of control it's actually because of love I loved him and I, there's no regrets even though we broke up right now I'm I still no regrets that I give my virginity to him so it's you know no regrets I'm happy with it because I love him. And it's all about love, after all. Wow. Yeah. So, what your parents' reaction about that after you break up with him and they knows about what happened already? Actually, they they kind of sad because, of course, as a Filipino parents, you know, they are expecting that you guys will be married soon. And I'm also very pressured right now because I thought that we're gonna end up being married, but you know, life happens. Everything happens for a reason, and. Yeah. Yeah, we don't know what's gonna happen there. So you told me before that your parents don't know about about your breakup with him. How about now? They know already? So what are their reactions? Yeah, I was really having a hard time to tell them because I don't want to disappoint them. But, you know, I don't want to lie or I don't want to keep anything from my parents. So I was like, okay, it's, I'm just, I was just really looking for a good timing to tell them about what happened. I mean, as I said, I was still looking before. I was still looking for the right time to tell them. But oh, yeah, before, yeah, before. before. But now they know. They, yeah, they know it now. So what they said about it? Like they, they were like, see, I told you. That's you should have, like. yeah, see, I told you. You should have saved your... You should have saved your V cards before marriage. Yeah. I mean, after marriage. But I was like, you know, <laughs> sorry, I just in love. Everything happens already. Yeah. So what you can do? But for sure, your mom is sad. Yeah, she's sad. But I told them that it's okay, mom. I'm gonna be wiser this time. I'm gonna be. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna control my emotion this time. Yeah, it's a matter of learning yeah. from the mistakes. Yeah. Well, actually, it was not. Little mistakes. It's all about experience. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's experience. Ex yeah. Experience is the best teacher. Yeah, yeah. True. So, <laughs> front or back? Front, of course, front. <laughs> of course, front. Because what if your partner will ask you about the about the back part? I'm just gonna ask him. Can you just give me a little bit of time to get ready with it? I mean, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask for a time frame. What? <laughs> Because you know, you, because here in the Philippines, only gays will do that. Yeah, actually. But in the West, they're doing that. Yeah, they're very open to that actually. Yeah. So for me, I would prefer front door. But if my, <laughs> if my, you know, if my boyfriend is really, really wild and wanting to do another experience to spice things up, yeah. then I'm just gonna ask him. Hey, can you just give me a one week to prepare myself to be boom boom from behind? That's scary. <laughs> I well, I'm not gonna try that. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's scary for me. Like for me, I don't like to try yet. Um, I don't know, guys, because you guys like maybe you want to try that. But for me, I can feel like I'm not a gay. Yeah, you don't have to do that in my back because I'm not a gay. <laughs> okay, but it depends on you. All right, so <laughs> naked or with clothes? Um, half naked. Half naked. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna wear my pa panty and I'm not gonna wear anything on top. Oh, you like half naked. Yeah. But during sleeping, have you tried like? Full no. Uh, yeah, of course I tried it, but when I was living alone. But now that I'm living with my parents again, 
because I'm supporting them again financially now that I'm making money from YouTube. So I made sure that I have, you know, fully dressed up with my pajama sets because I don't want them to see my. <laughs> my so how bed. about when you um when you you are with your partner before? Yeah, I don't mind. I mean, he's not stranger, so he's free. He's very much welcome to see my body. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So love or lust? Love, of course, love. Uh, I mean, lust is temporary, but love is, you know, forever and eternity. So love. But sometimes love is has a time frame because yeah, like at the end of the maybe in months only or years, yeah. love is gone. It's really scary. Well, it's fine, you know. If that person is not really in for you, then you just have to accept and let go. But as as long as you have with that person you have to give all your time attention effort and love yeah. to make it right uh, I like it. so love or money love oh love why? love why? with money <laughs> yeah why 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 i mean what we love only <laughs> no money so love with money so why for me i'm gonna go with love because i you know my boyfriend actually he's not that really you know rich rich mm -hmm. Although he's a foreigner, but I know for a fact that he's not that really rich, rich. That's why he cannot really afford to go here to the Philippines. But I still choose to be with him, despite the fact that he's not, you know, if how how much longer that those money that he can bring here in the Philippines to live off. But I'm still going to choose love over money because money is something that you can earn over time but love is something that you will know you will never know if you can still have that that's yeah, why yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can also travel here in the philippines without money you can't also live here without money yeah absolutely mm. so you choose foreigner than filipino absolutely yeah i would i would really 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 prefer foreigner than filipino because well i'm not trying to generalize but filipino sucks guys i mean some of them are responsible some of them are just lazy some of them will leave you right after they will get you pregnant yeah. so i would go ahead and prefer to date a uh, responsible and generous foreigner yeah, so do you believe this that when a Filipina tried a foreigner, she don't like to go back with a Filipino again? Yeah, I agree with that. I totally agree with that because you know, now that I ha I had a foreigner boyfriend, I feel like mm. I can date Filipino if ever I want to, but I don't. I don't feel like you know, I don't feel I'm just really not attracted to Filipino. Uh, yeah. So have you ever tried a one night stand? Oh no, no, no. I've never tried one night stand. As what I've mentioned, I only slept with one person, which is my very first boyfriend. So yeah. Mm. So here, this is a new experience. So well, would you like to eat hot dog inside the car when your partner is driving? <laughs> 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 yeah, I actually wanted to try that. Yeah, mm. I think. Um, do you think there is a? Uh, do you think it's risky or it's um, <laughs> enjoying or? <laughs> well, it's risky, but life is too short to not to take the risk. <laughs> I think life will be will yeah. gonna be short. <laughs> okay, so what? Uh, I know this because you only tried one man only, right? Yeah, yeah. So is it big or small? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> big! <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it, is it way far from the Filipino size? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, it's so much interesting. Alright, so... Oh my god, old or young? Um, older than me. Older than you. So what is your age frame? I guess 45 to early 50s. Yeah, 40, 45, early 50s. That's it. So what if you will meet a very healthy grandpa, like he is 65 years old and he's handsome. Would you date him? No, I will not date him. And he has a lot of money. <laughs> I don't care about your money. Okay. I mean, yeah, I don't care about your money if I don't Feel. I mean, if I don't love you or I'm not attracted to you, then no, it's a no-no for me. What if he's very sincere and you already have many conversations with each other and since like um, maybe you trusted already each other, what gonna happen and you feel in love? Well, I'm gonna feel, I'm gonna be feel honored that there is someone like you who's 
really in love with me who's giving me all this kind of attention that I've always wanting to look out for a man yeah. but I'm really sorry but I just really want to be honest I'm gonna date older men but I'm not gonna go with I'm not gonna go beyond the certain age limit that I already set for myself I'm fine and totally fine with 40 45 early 50s but 65 70 80 I don't think so well we can be friends actually I can take care of you we can be friends but it's not gonna be like boom boom or have sex so yeah. <laughs> still strong <laughs> is it still strong <laughs> okay so um since you tried age gap how does it feel age gap yeah Actually, you know, the age gap level is really, really one of the factors that makes you feel makes you uh, makes you feel that that person doesn't love you because sometimes because of the age difference the older guy doesn't re it's actually not really vocal with their feelings <laughs> and vocal. yeah and they are very reserved and me i'm very bubbly i talk a lot i show affection i i am very clingy so mm -hmm. i think it ha you know sometimes it's really really hard to be in to be with an older guy who's not vocal who's not expressive with his emotion but for me i guess it's really gonna work out because uh, for me the differences will make the relationship work as both of you are actually willing and committed for it yeah yeah so it's really hard also to be in a relationship with someone who is not vocal because you can't really feel if he is in love with yeah. you or not yeah. what is his plan what about what can happen in the future if yeah. you always like this what will gonna happen if we have fights yeah. we just maybe just um, silent or what it's really hard to so you are into a romantic guy yeah, I am very, very into romantic guy. I mean, I don't know. There's something about being romantic that makes me feel mm -hmm. really, really in love with them. Yeah. So what if somebody were going to give you flowers and Valentine's? Oh. What would you going to feel? <laughs> I'm going to be very happy and come here, come here, guys. Come here. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Stephanie, for your time today and coming here in my place. Thank you so much. So for me, it's an honor that I'm part of your channel and thank you so much because you're always messaging me like Jella I want to meet you and just go love and maybe I will travel to Dumaguete just to meet you and now I'll give you a gift <laughs> this is a gift for you that I'm here travel here just to meet you and to other vloggers and thank you so much again so everyone if you want to follow Stephanie I will also put on her in the description at uh, the link on the description below and just click it and join and visit her channel and there are so many a lot of things that she can show you that you can learn here in the Philippines, especially the culture and what Filipina likes in our relationship. All right, thank you so much again and have a great day. Bye.